Hey, it's uh, Chris here today from Huckleman's Equipment. Today we're going to talk about one of my more favorite tractors in the Kubota lineup, and that's the L4060 Open Station Tractor. We're going to do a little bit of an overview, and then we're going to actually demonstrate some of the key features that this tractor has. So let's dive right into it and start talking about this loader. So when uh, talking about loaders on a Grandel, the Grandel series goes from 35 horsepower up to 60 with a few models in between. So the 40 horsepower and the 35 horsepower take the LA805 with a front bucket that's 72 inches wide. After that, whenever you get up to the 47 to the 60 horsepower, it takes an LA1165, uh, so a little bit heavier. But in this case, we're talking about the LA805. That means it lifts 805 kilos, uh, so you know, roughly about 1600 pounds lift capacity. And then again, out front with uh, the buckets, you got three different choices. You got uh, Basically, uh, light duty, medium duty, and heavy duty. So nine times out of 10, it's gonna be uh, the medium duty going on it. So the price difference is pretty negligible. Um, and then the heavy duty one, uh, you'll see that on the L47. And at that case, it does have their pre-existing holes for, uh, for putting on a cutting edge. So uh, again, it's quite a bit more. It jumps up in price by about six, $700. So you'll see the odd Grand L with that on it, but not too many. So, so yeah, that's the kind of the key things to know about the LA805 is its lift capacity about 1600 pounds and then what bucket to choose after that. This particular model we have already installed is the, the third function. Uh, it is the, the Kubota third function. That is the only one available. They do not make a Land Pride one. It is just the Kubota kit for it. So uh, it's fully integratable. Again, it changes your uh, joystick uh, as well as gives you the two, two plugins out front. So in this case, uh, whenever we're dealing with the L4060, it means it's 40 horsepower. It's a four cylinder engine in there. Whenever you're dealing with the 3560, it's the entry level unit. So it's got uh, a three cylinder engine producing that 35 horsepower. Once you get up into the bigger ones, the 47, 54, and 60, they start adding turbos and dialing up the engine. So, so that's quick spiel on the engine. Uh, they all require the, the burn system on it to, to perform. Again, it's all automated on these units. There's no buttons to press, really. Uh, it just works pretty flawlessly. Uh, Again, when it really first came out in 2014, 2015, it was a learning curve, but uh, you know, since then these things have performed. So dealing with a little bit further back is the actual features to this unit. There is quite a bit that make the Grand Al unique. You know, whether it's dealing with the split shift on it, so that gives you uh, the rabbit turtle in between every high, low, and medium. So instead of just being a three range hydrostatic transmission, you're now dealing with six. Six different options in there, and which you can do on the fly. So if you're going up a hill, you find that it's starting to bog down, you can go down to turtle. Um, and then it's gonna keep up your speed kind of idea uh, without bogging down the engine. Uh, there's quite a few different scenarios that involve using that split shift. So we're gonna demonstrate that so you kind of get a little bit of an idea of what it is capable of doing. You know, after that, they're gonna have the auto throttle advance. You won't see that in any other models of Kubota. Uh, you know, there's different manufacturers out there that have uh, basically the same idea on different models and call it different things, but it all boils down to basically more you press on that hydrostatic pedal, it increases speed because by it revs up the engine. So, uh, you know, they give the demonstration and we will give a demonstration here today, but in the book is, uh, you know, you pull up to a stop sign, it goes back down to an idle. Uh, as you pull away, pressing more down on the pedal, it speeds up the, the engine uh, as well as the tractor. So one of the other nice uh, key features is the anti-stall guard. Uh, it does exactly what you think it does. It makes it very, very difficult to actually stall the tractor. You know, I've used this uh, for one winter. It was the cab style. But anyway, using that in the winter, uh, you know, you come up to a drift with that blower. It actually slows down the tractor uh, as you go through that drift. And then as you pull it back out of the drift, it speeds back up the tractor without you touching anything. So it basically makes you look like an expert and you haven't touched a button. So nice key feature, uh, definitely lots of uh, usage for that anti-stall. Again, one of the other uh, ones that's very common to use is whenever you're going into a pile of gravel, uh, you're not gonna stall while trying to lift that butt back up that bucket. Speaking of going into that uh, pile of gravel, there is a button back of the joystick, awesome feature. So it basically revs up the engine. It does not speed up the tractor, which is very key. So uh, it's great to utilize that uh, button whenever you're say coming up to your uh, dump trailer uh, and you wanna dump into it. Uh, you press that, it takes it a wide open to really lift quickly that bucket without actually just uh, taking off on the tractor itself. So, uh, so those are your four key features that are exclusive to the Grand L in the Kubota lineup. So yeah, so let's now talk about some of the creature comforts on this unit. So whenever we're talking about some of the creature comforts that you either see in the cab or in this case in the open station, you know, is visibility is number one. Is you looking around, you can see everything, you can see right down to your buckets. And you know, and they thought of little things too, is uh, instead of just putting a nice bar there, you know, it's actually see-through plexiglass. Uh, so it protects you 
as well as let you still be able to see. You know, whenever you're dealing with that, it's kind of where these controls are. Everything is where you want it to be. Uh, you're not really looking for it. It's got nice big grab handles uh, and is right where you think it's going to be. So, you know, whether it's your tilt steering to give you extra creature comfort or that nice big display in the middle, and it actually has extra display modes to it so that it will tell you lots of information about what's going on with the tractor, whether you're using your PTO or just uh, what your DPF levels are at. There's lots of information there. Some of the other key features you'll see is the actual nice comfy seat I'm in. Uh, you can go with an air ride seat if need be, especially recommended in the cab features. Uh, but they do all come with that nice little 10 degree tilt. You know, it makes it nice and like, makes life a little bit easier whenever you're doing work over your shoulder, whether it's one way or the other. Um, it gives you that little bit extra uh, to take the strain off uh, off your neck and shoulders. So yeah, some of the other uh, key features to this layout are is uh, your integrated loader controls. Uh, you know, they're not stuck up way up here or anything. Uh, like you'll see on our economy tractors, it's nice, nicely laid out. So whenever you have the armrest, whenever you have the armrest down, whenever you have the armrest down, uh, it's nice and easy to, to utilize while being comfortable all day long. So, so those are some of the key layout features to it. Um, it just it's comfortable, you know. Uh, there's no hump in the middle. There is uh, there is the rubber floor mat. Uh, it's nice and quiet. It's nice smooth running. Realistically. Uh, there isn't any drawbacks to a Grandel other than the expense of it. Uh, it is a nice heavy set tractor with a great layout to make your life very comfortable in here. So, so now we're going to move on to the back and talk about the three point hitch on the back. So when talking about the, the Grandels, about the only real downside to this tractor compared to some of the competitions is I wish it came standard with uh, at least one set of rear remotes. You know, whenever you get a cab tractor, it comes with the two sets. The open station would be nice if at least it came uh, standard with one set there. But again, pretty minor. Um, again, when talking about the three-point hitch, uh, it is very deluxe. Uh, you'll see that uh, it has the external lift arms, so it gives it lots of power there, lots of lift capacities for uh, whatever implement you put on the back. And then after that, your lift arms on the side, you know, it has that ratchet style to make adjustments real quick, as well as pins on each sway bar, uh, on each sway bar to uh, make life easy for whenever you're attaching or, or, or removing your three uh, attachments. Um, and again, it has the extendable arms out the back, so to again, make just life easy on you. So, um, and as you can see on the back here, we have the FC, uh, 15 field cultivator. Uh, right now we're just waiting on uh, side extensions to make this a little bit wider so we can uh, deliver this whole package uh, to, the, to the lucky customer who has purchased this. So, so that's kind of a, a very easy overview of this unit. Now let's, uh, let's hop on it and demonstrate some of these uh, features that we just talked about. This is high range turtle. Now I'm in rabbit. high range and then uh, rabbit and then we're going to go up the rat and back down to turtle back up the rabbit So that gives a very quick idea of what uh, what the split shift is able to do uh, from going to uh, rabbit turtle kind of idea on the fly. So again, just makes life easy whenever you're going up and down hills, across your yard, just virtually anything, especially if you get under load. So that's a quick demonstration of the, of the split shift. Uh, so now I'm going to turn the auto throttle advance on, lights up on the dash, I'm going to bring it back down to an idle. Uh, so I'm just sitting in an idle and I go to pull away. It's going to rev up the engine automatically as I go here. So. You can see as I take my foot off the pedal, it takes it right back down to an idle or very close to it. And then as I pull back around to go back straight, I can go right down to an idle and pull away again. That was a quick demonstration of the auto throttle advance. So you can see the benefits of it is uh, there is no guesswork. It goes whatever speed you want. So basically infinite possibilities, uh, especially with the split shift, uh, you're not gonna be adjusting anything. The one downside to auto throttle advance is if you get into a bumpy area, uh, you will be, uh, you start hopping, the engine will feel like it's hopping there. So that is the one drawback, but other than that, uh, 
it, it just makes life easy on yourself. Uh, the last thing I'm gonna demonstrate is the, the button on the back of those loader controls that's gonna demonstrate taking it to right, uh, right to wide open without actually speeding up the tractor, which is a, a big plus. Again, there's the tractor right back down to an idle. I'm gonna press the button, it takes it right to a wide open here. So. so while I was using that tractor, I was about 1500 RPM. Um, and then, as you can see, there's a momentary kind of surge of the tractor before it catches itself and stays at the same speed it was before pressing uh, the button. So again, all these features make life easy. As you can see while I'm driving this, I'm not moving up and down that hand throttle. It's just kind of staying stationary uh, and making me, uh, making this tractor do what it needs to do to get the job done. So, so yeah, so that kind of brings a, an end to the overview. So that brings us to the end of today's video. Uh, you know, we brought up uh, an L2501 here to park in front of the, the Grand L, so you can kind of give a quick comparison uh, between the two of what an economy tractor has compared to uh, the Deluxe Grand L. As you know, we price a lot between the two, um, as there's quite a bit of overlap uh, between the two series. So yeah, so if you like today's video, uh, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below.